Hi, Jeet. How's it going? Yeah, good, thanks. How are you? Good, thank you. So you're here um, picking up your bags. So, um, yeah, what do you look into when you're picking up your bags? Yeah, it's the most important thing for as a batter that you want to know that when you walk away or when you walk out on the field, you've got the best bat in your hand. So to do that, I probably go through a process um, probably of three things. First is um, the appearance to see what the bat looks like. Um, second is uh, the pickup of the bat and the last one is the ping how it pings off so i kind of first thing is when i look at the bats i look at what what sort of color it is i i like tend to like a darker willow and if there's anything more grains on the bat like for example we've got this one here it's got quite a darker but two-tone willow and it's got lots of grain so i guess for me that's quite appealing so i'll, I'll put that bat aside and then i'll go through all the bats and I'll pick three or four that I really like in terms of appearance so that's the first process and the second part is I'll sort of close my eyes and then I'll I'll try and just feel the pickup um, because sometimes some bats tend to be heavier but pick up really nice and other bats tend to be lighter but don't pick up as nice so for me pick up is more about closing your eyes and just having a feel about how do you want the bat to feel like in your hand and for me it's a combination of feeling nice and light but knowing that bat's got a lot of um, weight behind it so if I do want to hit the ball out of the park you're gonna clear it pretty easily so that's that's that second thing and the last thing is um, once I picked up two or three bats I'll pick up the ball and just sort of bounce it on my bat and um, look for a sound that's slightly softer not not too hollow because then I know if it's hollow then it's doesn't have a really good ping um, and as professional cricketers we want bats that are sort of re ready to go straight away so we, we tend to look for um, a ping that's nice and soft ready for us to go and then I'll walk away with bats knowing I'm ready to go. Very cool so we've got we've got these like a couple of or maybe a dozen bats made for you last week mm -hmm. if you were to pick a couple today which bats would those be out of the lot here? Yeah, look, so uh, we, we talked about this. For me, in terms of appearance, the first thing, I, I, I like the appearance of this one. It's two-tone, has lots of grains. So I'll put that aside. Um, I'll put it aside here. Oh, I'm pretty sure I put Anywhere it. Anywhere is good, yeah. Anywhere here. Um, second one is probably this one. Again, very similar. It's got darker, darker willow, lots of grains, two-tone. And I'll put that aside and then I'll Pick up first one, close my eyes, have a, have, a, have a feel. This one picks up really well. I know it's nice and light in my hand, but it's it's sort of has a good good amount of weight in it. It's quite chunky. Um, and then I'll try same thing with the other one. Again, here we go. Um, this one's nice, but feels a little bit heavy at the bottom. Um, very similar in weight, but this one's got a bit more weight at the bottom, so I know that it's not that's not what I'm looking for. So I'll, I'll probably go for this one here and um, just grab a ball and just sort of bounce it on it. And yeah, the softer sound. I'm looking for the softer sound, especially in the middle of the bat or slightly below the middle of the bat, because um, that's where you want to hit majority of the balls when you're hitting. You sort of tend to hit in this half here to know that. Um, you've got good bat in your hand and get a good result so yeah i'll probably walk away with this one if that's okay very <laughs> very cool uh, just another question in terms of the weight obviously you play four day cricket and then 50 over cricket and t20 cricket um how much difference um do you use different balance or do you use um different weight for uh, four day cricket and one day cricket and t20 cricket yeah it's a good question and for me um I tend to use a slightly lighter bat for four day cricket um, where I can sort of control my hands a little bit more with you know playing the ball later um, and one day cricket and T20 cricket I would like a bat that's slightly more heavier and if anything a little bit bottom heavy because you, you know you're trying to hit the ball and generally in, in white ball cricket your hands are going to go back further because you want to hit the ball so the weight can be slightly heavier and knowing that you want to hit the sixes and fours um, if you can clear the rope without, with, even if it, with a mishit, then then I then it's a really good result. So I tend to go for slightly heavier bats. But now, another thing to consider is the type of pitch you're going to play against uh, on a playing on. 
if it's a bouncy wicket and fast and bouncy, then I tend to go for a higher middle bats because the ball is going to bounce a lot higher and going to hit the higher part of your bat as well as lower. So I would like a higher middle bats. But if I'm going to be playing on pitches that are slightly subcontinent style, then you want to go for a bat that has a bit more weight at the bottom because that's where you generate more power and that's where the ball is going to be making the contact with your bat. So those are the things to consider. So you opted for like obviously two tone and dry lightweight bat or like middle like two two nine ish bat. So in terms of mentiness, obviously the two tone dry bats usually uh, wear out quite quick. So how do you maintain them? Um, you want to look after it first. So you want to oil it and you want to put a good facing on it. Um, and because they they tend to be ready earlier and you you want to be making sure that it's ready to go. So you're using for throwdowns quite a lot. Um, to make sure that it's not you know it's quite raw and second thing is for me is taping the top and bottom um, I try and put a, some sort of fiberglass tape or string tape at the top of the handle at the bottom to make sure that I don't do any damage to it and yeah just treat it as gold and you know it will, it will, it will treat you back nicely yeah cool thank you thanks thanks Steve. thank no you so worries. much Cheers.